So now in this video, we're going to look at why completing the square is useful. So uh, sometimes we're, we're going to want to find out what's the minimum point of a quadratic. So say, for example, if it's a U, what's the bottom point? Or else it's the maximum point of an N. Okay, so we want to find out what that point is or what that point is. And the way to do it basically is by completing the square. So that's what we were working up to in the last video. So we know that normally you get a quadratic in the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Yeah, um, and then in the last video we were writing them in the form y is equal to a by x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so the cool thing about writing it in this form is that um, if you, the coordinate h and k is that coordinate there. So that there is h and k, and for a different curve, if you put it into that form, h, k. So if you, once you put it into this form, you can find out what the minimum point is just by looking at it. Yeah, so the h tells us the x-coordinate. The k tells us the y coordinate, and then the a tells us if it's plus or minus, so if it's a u or if it's an n. So the way we're going to look at this is just by doing a quick example. So I'll go red. Scroll down a little bit, and our example will be this question here. So I want us to find the minimum point of this curve y is equal to x squared plus 8x minus 20. So just in case some of you are wondering, you can do this using calculus as well, but sometimes they do ask you to use algebra, so you have to know how to do both. Um, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to complete the square. So I'm going to continue this in yellow. So we'll say y is equal to x squared plus 8x. So then what we're going to do is we have to add on half squared of this, uh, and we have to minus half squared of this as well. So if you remember from the last video, completing the square, it's going to be plus. So half of 8 is 4, and then 4 squared is 16. So it's going to be plus 16 and minus 16. And then this is also going to be minus 20. So you, you keep that there, yeah? Um, so now we can complete this square because it's a perfect square. So I'll turn it back into yellow. So y is equal to, this is going to be x plus 4 squared. Let me just clear that 4 up. Uh, x plus 4 squared. And then minus 16 minus 20 is going to be minus 36. Uh, and this is a problem a lot of people actually have. They make a mistake now at this stage. So just I'm going to write the thing out again. So it's going to be y is equal to a by, oh, sorry, it's x by x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so this is important. So this is our answer in the form. Uh, y is equal to a by x minus h squared plus k. But a lot of people make a mistake now at the last step, which is not good because you've gotten this far already. So if you can see here, each one of these is going to be exactly the same. So you can say a is equal to 1. That's not really, uh, doesn't isn't important for our question here. Now this here, minus h is equal to plus 4. So they're the exact same. Okay, so minus h is equal to plus 4. And that means that h is equal to minus 4. Yeah, so so many people will see x plus 4 there, and they'll presume that h is equal to plus 4, but it's not. Uh, you have to do that little step there. I'd always write them over on top of each other. You say minus h plus 4. You say minus h is equal to plus 4, and that means h is equal to minus 4. And then the same here, you can say k is equal to minus 36. So I think it's just the easiest way if you write it like that. So that means if you want to find the minimum point, uh, what we wrote up here was that the minimum point is hk. So that means for our question here, the min point is minus 4, minus 36. Okay, so if you were to do that on a quadratic, it would be about minus 4, and it would be way down here, minus 36. It would be really far down. So it will look something like that. Okay, uh, so that's just a brief one. So they can ask different questions. It's all the same idea. How do you find... <clears throat> a minimum point <coughs> excuse me how do you find a minimum point and it's by putting it into the uh, by completing the square by doing it in this form so I hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you next for more algebra